welcome. I'm Beverly Welch. We're here at the Arbor Gate today in Tomball, Texas with our good friend Angela Chandler from the Garden Academy. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing great. You know, Angela, one of the biggest questions we get asked every spring and fall are, what are these brown patches in my grass? And it is a huge issue here on the Gulf Coast with our climate and our soils. Right. It's just a breeding house for fungal issues. It is. It really is. But you know, uh, chemicals are great to get things under control, but they're just a band-aid really. They don't uh, attack the problem or the issue. Yeah, it's, it's a short-term fix, it but it's, it's not the way to cultivate the lawn so that it's healthier in the long run. So there are some great organic methods that not only can keep this under control, but prevent it. Yes, and preventive maintenance is really where we want to head after we fix the initial issues that we have. Right. So when we start seeing these fungal diseases in the lawn, um, typically they show up as a, as a circular patch. Uh, and when we have the cool nights, warm days, it really activates it and gets it going. People will also notice that they get it in the same areas every year, same spots. So that tells you it really does exactly where your problem area is and what needs to be treated. So we start out oftentimes by just raking out yeah, the raking dead out thatch. the thatch, cleaning the area up, mowing it low so that you're prepared to go in with remediation activities. Right. Now, an organic control, if you will, to prevent us from using chemicals right away would be our garlic. That's yeah, one know, of the number one. It is. Garlic has a lot of antifungal properties for everything. It's, right. it's really a general purpose antifungal and it's a, it has a gentler way of acting safe for your pets, safe for the kids. And it's also a great insect repellent. It's fabulous insect repellent. Uh, there's garlic oil in the mosquito repellents that we use and it lasts for days. It does, it really, really does. And another great organic control is the sesame oil. You know, there's a lot of research now showing sesame oil in, in garden controls. Yeah. Uh, another one that's gentle and safe, but fairly effective in the landscape. So it's a really great alternative to some of the harsher, more dangerous chemicals. So once we see these areas, we rake out our thatch, we, we apply these organic fungicides to sort of get it in control. Now we need to work on the preventative maintenance. Right. So typically these problems occur in areas where your soil has been compacted. It doesn't really show that it's holding water at surface, but subsurface, you've got some issues there with air circulation or air on the roots of the plants. Yeah, there are. It's what we call internal drainage, where we can see that water sheets off the top, but there is drainage issues down below that we really can't address. And sometimes within the lawn, they're, they're fairly shallow so mm -hmm. that we can actually fix them without doing anything major excavation. Right. So core aeration is always a great practice. Yeah, core aeration is great. But a, a, a little bit of an issue for a lot of homeowners and uh, especially with irrigation pipes. Yeah, it can affect irrigation and also when you have a, a your yard fully landscaped, sometimes it's a little unwieldy to try to go in and do core aeration. Right, but we can aerate organically with these products, yes, right? Yes, we can. They really do a great job for that. So we can start by putting down our um, organic food. Yes. Followed by a layer and just a half inch layer. We don't want to go too deep. Right. With our compost? With compost. And what compost does is it provides all of the soil biology so that it can go back in and where we have issues, some of those beneficial organisms actually are antagonistic to the soil organisms that are causing us problems. Right. So it's a way of getting nature back into balance. It doesn't happen overnight the same way we see with chemicals sometimes. In fact, all of these things have a tendency to work a little slower, but over the long run, it's a better option and we'll see more return in the future. Exactly. So once we get these products down, it's a good, good, practice to activate them with our liquid products as well. Yes, it really is. You know, soil activators and then EM1, which is, hello, good morning. <laughs> And then EM1, which is a probiotic. So we're, we're using something that activates the soil and then something that has a probiotic action in the soil. So it's all that good biology working against the bad biology. Now, oftentimes as the grass grows up through this half inch layer, it's not a bad idea to repeat that process in that same spot. Yeah, I think that's correct, a, a repeat. A repeat episode of it would be a good thing to do. So this is not on, this is not a band-aid no. as with chemicals. This is a permanent fix. Yes, it is. 
so we can get rid of those brown patches every spring and fall organically, safely, and have a healthy, more beautiful lawn. Yeah, and I think overall you're going to see a big difference the next year. Great. Well, thank you so much, Angela. Thank you, Beverly.